Okay, now you're dead. Send the troops down. Send some men up north. Apparently, Yas is over here, taking over the capital of Ryzan. Don't know when that happened, but okay. Okay, another one war score. Your war enthusiasm is now is your war enthusiasm is now at low. Yeah, you will move up here. You guys are doing good work in the Balkans. We do need another military leader here. 443, not bad. Still haven't had any like three star generals quite yet. Okay, more people are available for higher. Send in the reinforcements. Ongoing battles, negative 22. I'm actually going to lose that battle. I mean, they outnumber us a lot. No, we did lose. Okay. But I mean, it was close, for sure. We're going all the way down up to Muscovy. So let's keep our troops together then. I mean, the rebellion just happened to fire like basically the worst time. Local development cost minus fifteen percent. Definitely better than the uh, admin points. By the way, how close are we to? Um, for two thousand, we can already upgrade if we wanted to. It definitely wouldn't hurt. And our manpower is still okay. We need to re reinforce by 48,000 men. But we reinforce at a pretty decent speed. And who's still in the coalition? Still not actually like that many people. PC of is over. Now we go beat up. Beat up the Ottomans. Okay, two nice, decisive battles, both of which we did win. I think somebody else did just join a coalition against us. I'm surprised that, like, Austria and Bohemia don't do it. Truce with Austria said, ended. You know what? We probably had a truce with Austria, and that's why they didn't do it. Okay, more war score at 47. You still don't want to give up, huh? Our casualties are increasing. Apparently you've ended your war down here. Did you... Did they... Did, did you lose anything? What was the peace offer there? Because now the Ottomans can spend their entire force against us. And again, I think the Ottomans do... 96. Um... Well, we're about equal in terms of strength. Occupying more lands. Move to Azov. Which is one of the problems that we do want to take. Go help you guys siege down the coalition. Austria's now joined the coalition. Which to me signifies that we want to leave this war like now. I think once we take Azov, we should be good. But I think we want to start moving our units towards the, uh, towards the west. You know, just, just in case. You won't say yes to this. Here, 64 to 67. Who are these guys? You have... 
particularist. Okay, our heir is dead, but that's okay. And there we go. Charismatic negotiator. People are leaving the coalition against us. You fools! I think I'm stuck here, right? Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, go back to our stability. Core everything we have. How do we get out of elective monarchy? Government reform is not really what I'm looking for. I don't really know, because now there's a lot of rebels in the country. Do we have a... We trade efficiency guy. Giving us more money. Army maintenance is at 90. Are we over our force limit right now? No, it's mostly just trying to... Everybody's trying to reinforce, huh? And right now we are an empire. An air. Already at the maximum government rank. All of our modifiers. Too many modifiers to even look at right now. Yes, we're already generating five uh, splendor per month. Absolute is at least a 90. Like we, I think we kind of have already everything we kind of can do here. Remember, unrest is very, very high at the moment. Opal Separatists have risen up. We can easily crush them. Muskies left the cold military coalition against us. Really? Like, why? You're a negative 382 opinion of us. You should, uh... You, you, you should want to be in a coalition, because it actually gives you, like, defensive powers as well. We can pretend to rebels. The autumn's dealing with rebel issues now. You have 170,000 men. I feel like that's a little bit much. Apparently, you, you did take the problems. Like, the exact second I got there. Bohemia Separatist. I mean, you're all kind of like where you need to be. At least I feel like that for the moment. Abolish the monarchy? This will put us on a path to cede complete control uh, to the sham, abolishing the monarchy. I'm so curious about what- are we becoming- are we becoming just like a republic? That's so strange that I kind of want to do it. Just as the king has resolved to remove power from the Shem, so has the Shem made its own demands to the king. A bunch of names have formed a road call for semi legal rebellion. The nobles have gathered, uh, demand 16 articles, demanding the throne mint for breaching the articles. That's so freaking strange, but let's do it. Will it make us weaker? Maybe, but if you become like a weird. If we just like become a weird republic. First at circle navigation, so they've circle navigated the globe. Really, nothing else here that we really need to worry about. Like, do we just become a republic? Like, it's so strange that I can't imagine that can be the case, but. But it said it ends the monarchy! <laughs> It's not like a real republic. Total expenses. Paying a lot of money into the army. Fort Maine is very expensive. I mean, corruption's getting pretty high, costing us some decent money. Are we just making less? I 
It's not elective monarchy. People are leaving the coalition against us. Yeah, so I think we're just going to spend some time letting our aggressive expansion kind of, like, burn down. Are you still a puppet of Denmark? You are. You're, you're slowly getting integrated. By the way, Provence, you were getting integrated too, weren't you? You'd be done in, like, five years. It's going to make France very powerful. Okay, we're almost ready for Diplotech, or Military Tech 18. Do I want... We're getting 50% penalty right now. Do I want to pay that amount? Like, almost three grand to save a little bit of points? Honestly, probably not. One of our advisors has died. So 5% discipline. Seems decent. Yeah, let's get let's get a uh, military tech uh, eighteen. So now we have better artillery pieces. How much better are they? They got a little bit more defense and a little bit more attack. Okay. Price of iron's gone down. Not really a huge concern to us, I think. But also, let's turn off all of our forts. We don't need this many forts on right now. I mean, there's still some rebellion problems in the country. You don't, uh, don't get me wrong there. But we can at least save some cash. Root out maintenance. State maintenance. I think our income might have just gone down, though. You know what? Less admin points for more money. I think that's okay, because again, we're so we're still so far ahead of time on so many techs. But I don't think it's a big, big deal. Almost at 93, they hate us. Everybody's very, very mad at us. Which, I mean, I can understand, but at the same time, I don't like it. Yeah, truce with France. I mean, we want to take Glasgow. We, believe we want to take these two provinces in the south. Because so once we have those two provinces, we'll be looking pretty good. Is there anything we can do for some more money? Most trade power. Make our trade as good as we possibly can. Sure, you want military access. Spain's at war with some tiny countries in the north. Not a big deal. Florida is now the entire United States. Apparently, Scottish Quebec is, exists as well. Good, good, good work, Scotland. I'm surprised you haven't been annexed by England yet. Tonto to his faith. Clergy make lets our likes a little bit more. I think that's okay. I mean, how how is religion doing? And we're still very strongly Catholic. Reform is doing pretty okay. Protestantism has a lot of power as well. Austria will probably end up winning the uh, the elections here again, whenever that actually happens. I like how the... Why is Florida fighting in our own territory? Get out of here. Go fight in your own lands. Instead of thinking, making things more difficult for me. Ranking 34 gold. Which means a decent amount. We're making 24 off trade. Thanks for the stability drop. <laughs> really appreciate it. Okay, we're getting our cores down here as well. Very, very nice. Yeah, these will all be cored very soon. But I think taking Crimea and stuff is definitely was worthwhile. But somebody else, they have 204,000 men. That's, it's a lot, sure. We're at 143,000. Can we even build more units if we wanted to? We can, we can get like another 10 stack. But I don't think that's good enough. Okay, well, locking separates have risen up. Assign like a random general into that. Crimean separates as well, so let's move these guys down there. Just in case there's an uprising, which I'm sure there probably will be. 
I mean, almost guaranteed, for sure, there's going to be an uprising at some point. Everybody will hate us. Suppress the rebels. I'm, I'm, I want to know what happens when we, when we abolish the monarchy. I've got to know. <laughs> the Shem sieges control. Having conceded what feels like countless compromises to the Shem, announced an application, they'll kind of throw in a hair digital state of the Commonwealth monarchy. Complete power now resides in the Shem. Commonwealth is sometimes referred to as a republic due to the elected monarchy, but from day on, there will only be the most serene republic of the Commonwealth. become a republic oh my god um let's go for the bureaucratic candidate what have we done we're now the most serene republic oh and now we have like oh do we have to do all these again okay okay we're still all we're still an empire How, how very strange. Anyways, what do we want? Republican tradition goes up. Random candidate bonus plus one. National arrest minus one. Not bad. I mean, what does this go up by right now? 1.2 base value, power projection. Let's go for unrest. At least this resets. That's nice. Corruption goes down. Absolutism. We have elections more often. The global trade power, governing capacity goes up, or state maintenance. How much are we paying on maintenance? Only 10. I guess we go for a trade power increase. We cannot do parliamentarianism. 10% cheaper embracement cost. One diplomat. Cheaper stability. I guess we go for one diplomat. The question of dictatorship. Okay, sure, we're now... Again, this is not at all where I saw this campaign going. The Jem Reign Supreme. So who's now in charge here? It's not even called Crown Lands, it's just fully controlled by you. They had to come up with like a new name for it. How very I mean it means we no longer have royal marriages, right? Because we're not a uh <laughs> How weird. How just completely strange. You're March, you're a Prince Dumb. But that's okay. You know. The Republic of the Commonwealth. I mean, it's really, really not the way I saw this campaign going from where we started off with. By the way, governing capacity, we still actually have some room there. 275 points, very expensive. Lack of Republican tradition, plus 100%, religious unity. I mean, it's going up by 1.2 per year. And we're still integrating you. Truce has ended with a lot of people. Just very, very strange. Very, very strange. So maybe they, maybe we'll actually maybe have the um, revolution actually happen here because uh, we're I mean we're a republic right revolutionary uh, trade depot stock exchange you know not bad there sure there you go give, give me the ten prestige we did lose all of it by. Uh, Becoming a Republican government, but that's okay. Rebellions, I think, have gone down significantly now because of uh, that political power struggle has kind of resolved itself. Again, this, this is really not a. Uh... Keep on converting. Serbia's left the coalition against us. 40. I mean, we gotta let it burn down more. Because how much is it how much is it going down by? Two per year against you. So I mean we got 